Hey everybody out there, this is Seto Kaiba from your Yu-Gi-Oh! chat channel and today for you guys I'm going to be profiling my Synchron deck. Uh, Synchrons are one of my favorite old uh, Synchro uh, type decks from back in the day and hopefully one day when Qua Qua Shooting Quasar Dragon does get a reprint this deck will become a Synchron Quasar deck but till uh, Shooting Quasar Dragon gets the reprint eventually. Uh, this would just be a fun old synchro-esque deck. It's a very fun deck and I recently took it to one of my local tournaments uh, and playing in what we call a synchro day. And what a synchro day is, it's kind of like Yu-Gi-Oh day, but pretty much a synchro day we do it about once every two months or once every month depending upon the format and how people are feeling about it. But it's pretty much a, a, uh, a day where we just play with synchro based monsters. So no XYZs, no fusions, we just, the only thing you can special summon from your extra deck is synchro monsters. So I you always take this deck when, I, when we have synchro day. But without further ado guys, I'll get started on this deck profile of my junk synchron deck. So first off guys, we run three junk synchrons and we run three quick draw synchrons. These are your main tuners for the deck. Uh, these three Synchron monsters, Junk Synchron and Quick Draw Synchron. We have a lot of targets for these three uh, tuners for the deck. For Quick Draw Synchron to get his effect off so you can special summon him to the field, we have things like Dandelion, uh, Level uh, Eater, uh, Quibolt Hedgehog, uh, things of this nature. For Junk Synchron, we have things like Doppler Warrior, Quibolt Hedgehog, even the calculator you can use. But these are your three main synchro, uh, excuse me, your three main tuners of the deck. So these are all your three main tuners right there. So next up, guys, we run three Level Eater. Level Eater is pretty standard in any old school synchro esque deck. So three Level Eater. Next, we run two Synchron Explorer. Synchron's Explorer can bring back your Synchron uh, tuners back from the graveyard so you can make more Synchro monsters. So you can bring things back like Junk Synchron and things back like Quick Draw Synchron. Very useful card. Next we run 2 Junk Forward. Uh, junk Forward, I've always wanted to run it at 3 but 2 has been, uh, been good enough for me. You can Special Summon it if your opponent has no monsters on uh, or your opponent has a monster and you have no monster. Uh, but it's like a cyber dragon. But it's very useful for making synchros too. And especially if uh, you have a level 3 on the field already, you can normal summon it and make a level 3 exceed. Uh, I've done that sometimes. I've uh, special summoned one if I have both in hand. Uh, special summon the one, normal summon the other, and make a level 3 leviathan dragon or something like that. But that's only if I get a bad hand. Next, we have two Quibolt Hedgehogs, very standard. Uh, you can bring a, bring Quibolt Hedgehog back with Junk Synchron, or you can bring it back by its effect. Next, we run two Doppler Warrior. It's a very good card. You can bring it back with Junk Synchron. You can use uh, when it's used for Synchro in when it's used for a Synchro summon you can get two tokens on the field. So it's very useful and you can use those tokens for uh, later synchro summonings or you can use them as just big defenders. Next up we run two Marauding Captains. Uh, whenever Quasar does get that reprint these two Marauding Captains are probably going to be taken out for uh, two uh, unknown synchrons but till Quasar gets the reprint we're going to put two Marauding Captains in there. Uh, you can do the old school Marauding Captain lock if you have both in hand where you normal summon one, special summon the other, and they can't attack either or. Or if you have Junk Synchron in hand, you can go Marauding Captain, special summon the Junk Synchron, and make a level 6 uh, synch uh, Synchro monster. Next we want one Dandelion, very useful in this type of deck for Synchro summoning. You have one the Calculator. It's pretty much a beat stick, and it can be you can bring it back from the grave with Junk Synchron's effect to make a level 6 Synchro monster. But uh, it's very useful as a beat stick. Those are your two. Then we run one Moshmulan and one Neo Grand in Space Mole. This deck is a little bit s slow because it's an older school type deck. So one Moshmulan comes in handy, and Neo Grand Space Mole is in there for the fact that you can bounce back pesky exceeds and pesky synchro monsters. Very useful card. 
Next, thanks to Kunami's reprint of this card about two months ago. Uh, thank you, Kunami, for reprinting tuning. A lot of people didn't like the reprint, but this card definitely needed a reprint, and I thank Kunami for reprinting it. But three tuning, it's pretty much your Rota, so search out your Junk Synchron and Quick Draw Synchron. It's a Rota-esque card, I guess you could say. Uh, next, we run two Mystical Space Typhoons. Pretty uh, useful card. Then we run two The Warrior Returning Alive. You can bring back your Junk Warriors, your Junk uh, Synchrons. This card deck has a lot of different Warriors. You can re return back to your hand so you can make more Synchros and things of that nature. Next, we run one Smashing Ground. Uh, I like just Smashing Ground in the deck. It comes in handy a lot. We won one reinforcement of the army. Reinforcement of the army. It's a warrior based deck. It has a lot of warrior targets, so you can use it. Dark Hole is just a very good card. And Book of Moon. Book of Moon is just a very good card as well. And we also run one foolish burial. You can send Dandelion, Level Eater, Quibble, Hedgehog. There's a lot of things you can send to Grave with foolish burial. So that's all of your spell cards. For your traps, we run two Call of the Haunted. Call the Haunted, you can bring back your Quick Draw Synchrons and your Junk Synchrons, whatever you want to bring back from the grave. And you can use them for synchroing or bring back dead synchro uh, monsters back. Next, for your traps, we run one Fiendish Chain, which is very useful. We, then for other traps, we run one Mirror Force, excuse me, two Mirror Forces, excuse me, two Mirror Forces, very useful card. One bottomless trap hole and one compulsory evacuation device. That rounds up all the main deck cards for the extra deck, which I'll explain. We won one Cataster for your level 5 and one Junk Warrior, as well as one TC8, TC, TG Hyper Librarian. Usually, I take this card out and replace it with things like Leviathan Dragon or Scrap Dragon over here, but the reason why I put them in this deck is because it was Synchro Day at my locals, so there's a whole bunch of Synchroing going on so you can draw cards for free. For your other Synchro Monsters, we have Drill Warrior, Junk Gardener, uh, very, very, very good cards. One of my favorite Synchro Monsters of all time. Turbo Warrior, and Nitro Warrior. We also won one Gaia, the Force of Earth, as your 26 beater. This will probably get replaced by um, that new Synchro level 6 uh, monster that just came out recently. I think it's called Insectatron. Uh, I can't remember the name, but it's Insectatron, I believe. We also run one Junk Berserker and one Junk Archer. Junk Berserker I Synchro Summon more into than I do Junk Archer, but it's good to have both in the main deck. We also run two Junk Destroyer. It's a very good card. We also run Colossal Fighter and Stardust Dragon. We also have our two tokens for your Dandelion and Doppler Warrior things as well. And that's pretty much all the extra deck. But I will say, uh, if it wasn't Synchro Day, I would have probably fit these two into the deck, Scrap Dragon and Number 17 Leviathan Dragon. Uh, these are usually in the extra deck, but it was Synchro Day uh, at my local, so I put TC Hyper Librarian and other things in that deck. But that is the deck, guys. So, guys, I hope you all enjoyed my deck profile of my Synchron deck. Uh, hopefully, Quasar gets reprinted by the end of this year, so I can make it into a Synchron Quasar deck type of thing. But till then, it's just going to be a synchro-oriented deck, which is, I'm not complaining. It's still a fun deck to play with because you can play with all the different synchron-type monsters. But till next time, guys, take care, have fun dueling, good luck dueling, and I'll see you guys next time. Seto Kaiba, I'm out of here, guys.